Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and today I'm going to show you how to create Hydra Splash Tonics, a very special formulation type using a very unique material. A Hydra Splash Tonic is essentially a gel that contains very finely dispersed oil droplets that are held continuously throughout the gel phase. Now normally when you try to create this type of product with oils or lipids in a gel phase, you'll end up with an emulsion. But not with this special material. It's a special material called MyGlyol 829, Caprylic Capric Sicinic Triglyceride. And what makes it so unique is it has the similar density to water, which means it can be held homogeneously dispersed throughout a water or gel continuous phase without forming a milking looking emulsion. And this means you can create a unique gel with droplets type of formulation. Okay, the first step we need to do is to create our water phase. Now we're going to make a gel water phase and that will help not only stabilize the MyGlyol 829 over a prolonged shelf life, but also help us stabilize the very small amount of fragrance that we're going to add to this product as well. And that's just for consumer acceptance. So here I have my water phase A measured out. So this has my water, my sodium PCA, and my preservative already present in that. I'm going to set that aside. The next thing I'm going to do is create a slurry with my xanthan. Now, if you've watched other videos, you would have seen me do this before. I start with the uh, glycerin here, and then I'm just going to add some xanthan gum into the glycerin. This is going to make it very easy to hydrate the xanthan in a moment. Now with my slurried uh, xanthan in glycerin, I'm just going to add this directly to the water phase. Now you'll see I've created my gelled water phase. Now I'm going to prepare my oil phase. So first is to measure out the MyGlyol 829. and then add the fragrance and a very small amount of oil soluble dye. Very important, must be oil soluble dye. So fragrance. And the oil soluble dye. And I'm just going to add this colored oil phase now, very slowly to the gelled water phase. I'm just increasing the shear enough now that I can break that oil into finely dispersed droplets. And because the density of the MyGlyol 829 is so similar to water, that when the mixing, the shear is stopped, you'll see the MyGlyol 829 is very evenly dispersed throughout the water continuous phase and it will stay there throughout the prolonged shelf life. So what you are left with is very finely dispersed oil drops throughout the continuous water phase that will remain like that. And of course the impression there is that these hydra drops are giving the increased hydration to this product. Now there's a couple of really important things to note when you're creating this type of product. It's only going to occur with this particular material because normally oil is less dense than water and it will rise and separate to the surface. We're using a little bit of xanthan gum to help stabilize the formula to give it a very long shelf life and also to help stabilize that fragrance. Now any preservatives that you use must be water soluble, otherwise they're going to impact on the way this formulation has been created. And remember to check and adjust your final formula pH to suit the preservative you've used. Another really important thing to remember, when selecting the actives for this formulation, they must be water soluble. They should also be clear, otherwise they can affect the visibility of the final product.
Another really important thing when you're selecting your active is to make sure it does not contain any oil or solubilizing materials. If it does contain a solubilizer, it will start to emulsify the oil and water mixture and you'll end up with a creamy looking lotion instead of our transparent gel with the blue droplets. Finally, avoid other lipids or oils in this formulation. The xanthan gum isn't going to be enough to stabilize them and again you'll end up with a milky or cloudy solution instead of the gel with blue droplets. You can contact us for a copy of this formulation by emailing us info at personalcarescience.com.au and that's really all there is to it. So you can get creative with this unique material with your formulations. Happy formulating!